the Member is a program we have to learn more about our fellow Rotarians. Today, we're going to hear from Christian Cassidy Amstutz. He's the grant coordinator at the Central Pennsylvania Food Bank. So without further ado, I'll invite you forward. Thank you, Beth. New member, uh, as uh, Madam President Beth said, uh, I'm the grant coordinator for Central Pennsylvania Food Bank. Um, and just also first, uh, a huge thank you to the club. Um, there is a monthly volunteer opportunity where we uh, pack boxes at our central packing um, organization uh, on 19th Street in Harrisburg. So if you ever want to come and help out, we really appreciate that. Um, and also, uh, so many of you just individually in your organizations uh, support the food bank and the work we do in our network of partners. So thank you for that as well. So I'm actually local. I grew up in Hershey, Pennsylvania, graduated from Hershey High School in 2013, uh, born in Ephrata. So um, I, I've always known this area, although I do, uh, I'm not like fully local through uh, thoroughbred. Uh, my parents are from Long Island and Sacramento uh, individually. So don't have the same deep background as some of the friends I made growing up who have been Central Pennsylvania, Cole County people for generations going back. Um, I did fortunately also not, I did fortunately uh, during high school also have the opportunity to study abroad. Uh, and that was actually my first um, interaction with Rotary. Uh, I was a uh, Rotary International Youth Exchange student my junior year of high school. So I was an exchange student through District 7390 out of the Hershey Rotary Club. I was in Rhineland Falls, uh, the Rhineland Palatinate of Germany, um, but it also covered a couple other states, so Baden-Württemberg and such. Uh, I lived in uh, Stadt Frankenthal. So as you can see, it was um, founded in 1577, um, small industrial kind of city in the Southwest of Germany. Uh, here's an actual map of the area. Excuse me, it's a little hard to see. This is the overlay of the actual uh, Rotary District. So I underlined the city I lived in, which was Frankenthal right here. And then up here is Frankfurt, one of the bigger cities in, in Germany that you might be aware of. Same thing with Mannheim right here in Heidelberg. To, you know, Mannheim has a large uh, American military base, so um, a lot of overlap there. But really lovely area. Um, I actually lived on a uh, winery the first uh, three months that I lived there with my first host family. They owned and operated it for, uh, you know, six, seven generations back. Uh, so it was really lovely to be there during during the harvest season and all of that. Um, this is also just a photo of some of the other Rotary Exchange students who are in our district, 1860. So I'm right there. That's me when I was 16. Um, and But we had students from all over the world as well. Uh, uh, Doug Otto was from America as well. Haley was, Haley was from Finland. Uh, some of these names are escaping me, but I know we had people from Australia, uh, Brazil, Argentina, um, Venezuela, a lot of South America. Um, so really great group of people. We got to go on a couple trips together um, and just experience sort of the exchange life um, as that. So after uh, finishing up high school, I went to Ithaca College in central New York. I studied uh, writing uh, with a uh, minor in screenwriting um, and had actually a lot of interactions with the student filmmakers on, on, um, on campus, which led me to think that I wanted to pursue um, a life in the entertainment industry. So I moved to Hollywood for two years. Uh, which uh, was mostly just having office jobs and realizing that I didn't like living in Los Angeles. Uh, really, you know, just so car focused. Um, and I also did not make a lot of money. So that was hard as well. Uh, so after two years of living in Los Angeles, I decided I wanted to move back to the East Coast, um, be closer to my network and um, a lot of the people in my family. I have uh, a brother in law, a brother and sister in law, and two nieces who live in DC. So it's nice to be able to see them more regularly. Um, so I moved back, was trying to figure out what I wanted to do, realizing that I wasn't as interested in at least pursuing entertainment as sort of a full time position. Um, and in reflecting on what I, want, what I wanted to do, I applied for and uh, 
spent a year as a AmeriCorps VISTA. Um, if you're not familiar, AmeriCorps is essentially the domestic version of the Peace Corps, and VISTA is one of the branches within that. It stands for Volunteers in Service to America. Um, so you are stationed on one project for a year, and VISTA is, spe is specifically focused on building capacity within the uh, communities that they're uh, operating within. So I was stationed in Lancaster City, working with the city itself. They had received a grant through another organization, which included uh, two VISTAs for two years to help operate the project, which was dispersing micro grants, um, specifically in the southeast of the city through the Love Your Block program. Um, and that was uh, specifically to help develop relationships between the southeast part of the city, which if you're not familiar is one of the more historically redlined, um, underfunded, underserved parts of Lancaster. So really looking at, you know, redeveloping that trust and also putting some money back into the into the community so that um, some of these projects could happen, which were mostly beautification and uh, litter cleanup, uh, urban blight reduction. And so after that year, um, I, I wound up at the, the food bank, uh, which is where I am now. I'm coming up on two years as of February 22nd. Um, and really, you know, the, the work we're doing is incredibly meaningful, especially in the wake of the pandemic. Um, we saw historic highs in terms of food insecurity among our neighbors. Um, and we, if you're not entirely familiar as well, the food bank serves 27 counties of central Pennsylvania. So from the Northern New York border to uh, the Southern Maryland border, over 18,000 square miles in total. Um, and last year we distributed, uh, I think it was 60 something million pounds of food to nearly 413,000 of our neighbors. So unfortunately there is um, quite a large need and with inflation and rising costs that is uh, continuing to be a burden so um, yeah, if you are interested, please speak to me to learn more. Uh, and otherwise, as I said at the beginning, thank you so much uh, for your time and for welcoming me, welcoming, eh, welcoming me. Uh, and yeah, thank you so much.